Welcome to Science Fact Tune. Here you will learn cool science facts. If you like our videos please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for your support, now let's get into the video. Hey, look at that, this plant looks different, what could that be? Oh, that is a Venus fly trap. They are carnivorous plants and feed on insects. A carnivorous plant? Never heard of that. Do you have more information on that? Could you please explain me? Sure, let me explain. We all know that plants are a good source of food for us and also it provides oxygen to planet Earth. Plants absorb the nutrients from soil. But what if the soil is lagging in nutrients? That is where carnivorous plants survive. Carnivorous plants are fascinating creatures and they evolved over time. Because they live in places where the soil is nutrient deficient, specifically nitrogen. They started to feed on insects to extract the nutrient. Some of the key carnivorous behaviors are Capture prey Trapping the prey Killing the prey Digest the prey Absorb the nutrients Grow and develop with the absorbed nutrients. There are five basic trapping mechanisms. Pitfall traps trap prey with a rolled leaf that contains a pool of digestive enzymes or bacteria. Flypaper traps uses a sticky mucilage. Snap traps utilize rapid leaf closures. Bladder traps suck in prey with a bladder that creates an internal vacuum. Lobster pot traps, also known as eel traps, use inward pointing hairs to force prey to move inwards to a digestive organ. Most carnivorous plants require rainwater or distilled water. Common tap water contains minerals, particularly calcium salts, that will quickly build up and kill the plant. This is because most carnivorous plants have evolved in nutrient-poor, acidic soils and are extreme calcifuges. By the way, a calcifuge is a plant that does not tolerate alkaline soil. A carnivorous plant that catches no insect at all will not die, although it may have impaired growth. Instead, the plant uses its green leaves for photosynthesis. Some of the carnivore plants give up carnivory behavior in two situations. 1. Winter season, when there are no insects. 2. When the soil is nutrient-rich. During this off-season time, carnivorous plants develop non-carnivorous leaves and use that for photosynthesis. There are animals that will benefit from carnivorous plants. These animals will exploit or have a mutually beneficial relation or a symbiotic relation with the carnivore plant. Exploitation Tree frogs, some tree frogs steal the prey found in carnivorous plants. Spiders, since the trap and appearance of the trap attract insects, spiders may build webs near these plants to catch the insects. Mutualism Ants, some species of ants clean the pitcher for the pitcher plant so that it can maintain the slippery surface for catching the prey. They will also attack the trapped prey which is trying to escape. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes will lay their larvae inside the plant and the larvae will help clean the microbes inside the plant. Rats, some of the rats will defecate inside the traps and in turn, they feed on the sweet secretions from the plant. Pollination is key for every plant, even though self-pollination is possible. Many insectivorous plants depend on insects for cross-pollination. This helps in genetic diversity. Pollination is easy for a normal plant, but for insectivorous plants, there is always pollinator-prey conflict. There are three known mechanisms by which carnivore plants avoid pollinator-prey conflicts. 1. Pollinating flowers are developed well away from traps. 2. Pollinating flowers develop before the traps develop. 3. Develop traps that are unattractive to pollinating insects. Wow, carnivorous plants are indeed fascinating creatures on Earth. Thank you for sharing all this info. Glad you like it. Have a good one.